when I was 20, me and my girlfriend broke up. I was with her for four years. I, I, I couldn't sleep. I could, and this is before social media. You couldn't just chase a bitch. Like you, that was it. She's gone now. <laughs> like she moved. I didn't know where she lived. That was it. And I couldn't sleep. Now I, it wasn't like I was crying my eyes out, but I was just, where's my, my hoe at? I couldn't sleep. Need something else to do. Need something else to do. So I thought, fuck, I'll hit the gym at 6 a.m., hit the gym at 3 p.m., hit the gym at 8 p.m. I had nothing else to do but fight. So I took all that trauma, all that heartbreak, and I molded it into becoming a world level combatant, right? So there's nothing. What did we talk earlier about how trauma can mold you? How trauma can be a fantastic thing. Mm. Heartbreak, depression, sadness. These are all fantastic motivators. You're just, I'm telling you why they're a fantastic motivator. You go to a guy who's heartbroken. He has all the motivation in the world to send 300 mm -hmm. text messages. <laughs> he has the motivation. He's putting it in the wrong place. That's 300 cold emails you could be that, sending. Yeah, to someone uh, to pitch that's a, business. a lot of money you could have made. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, some of the, the greatest accomplishments in my life have come after a heartbreak. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, Absolutely. it's, it's that fuck, I call it fuck you energy. Yeah. No. You take that and you're like, I, I, cause some guys will get butt hurt about that and they'll sit there and they'll wallow in self pity. Mm. I've always thought the correct application of that energy is okay, prove that she made a shitty mistake. Mm -hmm. Go out and become a fucking millionaire. Go out and become a kickboxer, go out and become mm -hmm. a porn star, whatever. Go out and build steel buildings, right? And then she's going to look around when she's 50 pounds heavier in a year's time. And you're like, motherfucker, oh, I left him. I let him go. Yeah. And, you can, and, and internally, yes. the, uh, be happy. my ego could be like, yeah. <laughs> I got you. Life, yeah. <laughs> life's life's going to hurt you. And how you use that pain is completely and utterly up to you. You can use that pain to galvanize yourself as a man and become a better man you've ever been. I'm not saying that I'm only successful because of some chick. I'm saying that every single time that I was heartbroken, I never wasted a second. I was never wallowing. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Especially as a young man. Absolutely. Yeah. We talked we talked about this on the show. You're gonna get your heart broken yeah. as a young man. I've had it happen to me. Yeah. We've all had it happen to us. The and, and it's not even about anger towards a girl. It's seven years later, because as a man, you're gonna get your value later. Yes. Right. So if you use that energy to put all that work in, these girls, they come back around and I love to see them come back. Oh. Not because I'm in love again. Just because it's like, yeah. you know, I well, told like, yeah. you so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I said this, like anybody who tries to get revenge on a woman, oh, on a woman, way. it's a, you're an, that, that's incel energy. That's, yeah. that's a wrong way of looking at it. The only revenge you can get on a woman who breaks your heart is success. Yeah. Success is the best revenge. Just level up slowly. And when she messages you, you got two choices. You can either say, sorry, baby, you're not my type anymore. <laughs> Boom, you win. Or you could fuck her again. One last spin on the Ferris wheel. Yeehaw. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's the answer to the question. Put put a plan together for the heartbreak if it comes, and make sure that plan is constructive. Because yeah. everything we've been saying on this podcast is true. Trauma's going to come, pain's going to come, and you have to use it in a constructive way. I'm not telling you to tell him to avoid the pain. I'm saying that when it comes, make sure it's used in a constructive way. And and still to this day, that's all I would ever do. If if something bad happened to me and I got really upset, I would find the most constructive possible outlet. And yep. that's a conscious decision. You have to have the emotional control to make a conscious decision in that direction.